rides and I work a lot with minority groups in Drogheda and again I guess one of my main questions is are you organization or charity or what are you firstly yeah. um, and then um, I guess I work with both as well and I was curious as to know how they work because it's different it's like you have a lot of information like I feel like we're promising a lot and I know it's within five years timeline yeah. um, but I don't know I guess it's like Dragon's Den I guess mm -hmm. um, if you have a full-time job on the side of this how feasible is it really you know yeah. so and also in relation to you're talking about grants from outside yeah. grants but this is just inclusive for the uh, Congo community so what, what is the purpose or the reason why an outsider will um, give you a grant it, mm -hmm. the majority of the grants have to be inclusive yeah. so again I would have worked with an organization called Culture Connect a lot mm -hmm. so they're originally from Nigeria but they work with all migrant communities yeah. and I guess that's how they became a business they again they offer grinds at a lower rate any any issues any queries that you have they have an answer to at, with a fee of course and mm -hmm. um, so yeah yeah great question thank you um, so to answer the first one it is legally it will be run you know be run as a as a charity because it is a community so you know on paper you know it is a charity um, organization uh, with a group of people helping the community. So that is how we will be presenting um, this. But to your point around charities, we will work closely with charities that are already established here um, in Ireland, catering to different communities, catering to the Congo um, as well. So the goal is while we will, you know, run the bit, um, you know, we want to call it business as a charity, there will also be a charity um, by us that will also help different um, you know people in different areas and also people in the congo and then to your second point um around i believe it was the, the time uh, time and resources so i have a, a you know the job that i do today gives me a bit of time um versus the average person so i'm actually able to you know to multitask so that's number one number two is uh, the team that i presented today is just it's not even half of it right the goal is to have everyone in for each role. We might have three, four, five people so that we can all work together and everyone is focusing in one single area. Um, I don't know if you <laughs> if you know a lot about just the, the Congolese community, but when we put our minds to it, we get things done, right? So I know that people are um, ambitious, people are very um, hardworking. And um, as I said, I have a big job, I have a family at home. I'm able to, to run a lot of things because I want to do it. So I think what we look for are those people like me who are actually passionate about doing a lot of things. Um, to give you an example, I have five people that I depend on to run an event if I was to do an event. And if you ask anyone who has actually attended any events that we've done, those people have always showed up because they believe in my vision. So all we look for is not necessarily a number, but if you have some, you know, number of people who are at least passionate about the goal or the idea, um, I, I believe that it is um, achievable. And I've already been in just, you know, Waterford alone. I saw how a lot of people are willing to help, and that's only Waterford. Um, the goal is to go to each county where, you know, community people are based and help, hopefully help them as well, you know, help out um, in different areas, but focusing on their own county. And then finally, to your point around getting brands. The reason uh, brands is up there is because I'm working by tech company today and I know how heavy they are when it comes to supporting communities. Um, so by grants, I just don't mean that they'll just throw money at, at, at us and then we go, yeah, you know. The goal is they're going to invest depending on what is the actual, um, what what is the community about, like what you guys focus on, uh, pitching them what is actually happening because a lot of times people just need to be educated on exactly what is happening and then through that we'll be able to build more information uh, more um, like more trust but I think for the company at least that I work for today if I was to say I'm from this community based on what I've achieved for you for the last five years I need you to give me X amount I'm pretty confident they will so the goal is to then use the same people like me who are in you know maybe this big roles that can also help um, and it's not something that we want to put out there for every single company, it's not the case, but it's all, it's all about knowing the culture of that company. I did very big on, you know, diversity and inclusion and then going to